things up if you're thinking about you know you want to get done with your degree by a certain age um you kind of just got to do it okay you got to be a nerd you have to be a nerd you have to get those grades hey booze welcome back to my channel if you are a new subscriber welcome and if you're an oldie but a goodie then thank you for coming back so today i'm going to be talking about my career journey um all the way back from high school college and how i'm in nurse practitioner school now at 24. um so i kind of want to give you guys like the whole background story my prereqs just everything my whole college journey and how i am where i am now So yeah kind of like i said i'm currently a nurse practitioner student i just finished up my second semester of nurse practitioner school i'll be graduating with my master's in nursing in two years so i'll basically be finished with everything by the time i'm 26. so a lot of you guys and people kind of look up to me and you know it's like a goal of you know being able to get your career done at an early and kind of at a young age so this video is kind of directed towards my younger audience just you know those people that want to get it done early and young all right so let's go back let's throw it back to high school so so high school for me i basically didn't really focus on college courses too much i kind of just did my basic and regular you know high school courses i did graduate high school a semester early because i had all my um what's it called i had all my credits finished by the last semester so when i was a senior i finished i had the whole like last semester of senior year off um i took that year and i was i went to college um just community college and i was taking i took two classes because i had like a couple it was basically a semester that had off so i took anatomy and physiology and oh my gosh <laughs> i took anatomy and physiology and i want to say i took psychology just at a community college um just to kind of get started kick start my career because i had that semester off i mean i had a whole semester with which i was basically i was 18 i want to say so i kind of kick started my college career early because um when i went into college i think i've mentioned this before i was a pre-med major so i was already that semester i was already taking like pre-med courses i declared my major as pre-med and so i took you know i basically took that semester in high school when i was already taking pre-med courses science um so that was kind of high school nothing in specific nothing special just kind of did my thing um i did graduate high school with honors and i had a full-on scholarship for college and this is going to be a separate video a lot of people ask me how i got through college and my bachelor's degree debt free well that is one of the biggest reasons why was because i had a full-on scholarship for college i want to say i was i was awarded i want to say it was five thousand a year for four years so, so that amount basically covered most of my tuition for the whole like first two years of college and so yeah it was very good so yeah it was great so for my high school students you guys you really need to stop playing around focus on your grades because it really all starts from the time that you're in high school so if you're getting good grades taking those ap courses getting that high gpa you might have the possibility of getting a scholarship once you get done with high school so that was that so i graduated honors with high school and now we're moving on to college i started off like i said as a pre-med major i had no intentions of going into the nursing field whatsoever i went into i was going to be a doctor that was my goal was to go to medical school and become a doctor um i think i've done a actually i have i've done a video on my channel on why i didn't go to medical school and why i chose to go to the nurse practitioner route um kind of just a touch on that a little bit the main reason main 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 reason why i chose to take the nurse practitioner route was mainly because of lifestyle um choices um as a nurse practitioner i feel that i will have more of a life and i will still be able to do medicine and i like business as well so I feel like with the nurse practitioner i can i just have more flexibility to do things outside of the medical field if i wanted to 
not saying that you can't do it as a doctor i'm just saying that personally for me the choice i just have more more time more free time family time um things that i'm looking into in the future now right now i'm 24 years old i'm not married i have no kids i don't really have any responsibilities except school and getting my degrees getting my education i kind of started thinking more long term like by the time i'm let's say 30 i want to be done with school i want to have my degrees i want to have a stable not even stable i want to have a good source of income and i just want to be ready and established in my life so yeah i kind of got off track there but let's just take it back to when i was pre-med so at college my major was pre-med i did, ended up doing three semesters as a pre-med major so i did my high school semester as pre-med and then i did a full year of pre-med um so that whole fir first year i was taking like all the science courses so chemistry um statistics algebra i took like i think i want to say i took two chemistries anatomy physiology microbiology um just like you know all them science courses then that's when i kind of started researching a little bit because i wanted the main reason why i switched my major from pre-med to nursing was because i wanted to have a degree that i could put to use basically once i graduated um, I knew that with a pre-med degree, there's only limited things that you can do with that degree. And I, I wanted to make sure that I was going to be able to have a job and have money when I was in medical school. Like I said, this was the plan. Yeah, like I said, the plan was for me to go to medical school. And I felt that me going to nursing school, I would be able to be a nurse, be working, be working in a hospital, get experience, experience that I could take to, you know, my medical school education and all of this. So I decided to switch my major and um <laughs> i remember telling my parents like oh i'm switching to nursing my parents were like nursing like no you're gonna be a doctor and um if you're not hispanic or if you're not foreign like bro, you know <laughs> if you're foreign like it's either you're gonna be a doctor you're gonna be a lawyer you're gonna ju you're just going you're going up there okay so it was so funny i was like trying to explain to my parents like no it's just undergrad and then i could still go to medical school and i'm gonna take the mcat and all this stuff and um it was a whole big thing but i ended up switching um so once i switched i want to say i switched my sophomore year so when i switched my sophomore year i was taking like the bsn prerequisites so then i i was taking the you know just the, the extra sciences and the arts classes and you know the things that you had to do to get into the bsm program now during the summers i was still taking pre-med courses because i was still trying to finish all the courses that i needed in order for me to apply to medical school once i finished my bachelor's degree so it was busy sophomore year was very busy for me because i was taking not only the nursing prerequisites but during the summers i was taking like the heavy sciences with the labs and the organic chemistry and i was taking like pre-med courses so sophomore year was very busy for me um junior year was when i started the nursing program when i was in nursing school i stopped taking pre-med courses because it was too much like nursing school is, is hard enough on its own so i wasn't trying to add extra courses i basically just got through nursing school graduated and then from that point, once I graduated nursing school, I kind of just had to like make the decision. I was like, all right, well, I'm either going to go to medical school or I'm going to go to CRNA school, NP school. Like I had all these options. Um, yeah, I kind of had like a ton of options. I had a lot of thinking to do. Um, I did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research. I basically boiled down to the decision of wanting to go to um, a higher nursing degree. So I basically the whole medical school thing was like out the window. I was like, you know what? I wanted to do it but now I'm kind of like all right I need to look at lifestyle I need to look at budgets I need to look at the cost of tuition it was just a lot of things that I was kind of like writing down pros and cons pros and cons and um, like I said I'm not gonna go too much into detail in this video on why I chose to not go to medical school but basically like I had a lot of doctor friends and you know doctors in the family and everything and I would ask everyone you guys like I've been around doctors since the age of 18 um, in all my previous jobs, I had doctors that I was working with and I would always ask them like do you recommend me to go to medical school? Like what do you think? What's going on? And believe it or not Almost every response that I received from these physicians were no everybody was telling me go the mid-level route nurse practitioner physician assistant It's not worth it. Um, the way that the economy is set up right now the, the way the healthcare industry is set up right now 
um, I think that the wisest choice for me was to go the nurse practitioner route. And at this point, I already had a bachelor's in nursing. So it was very easy for me to just bridge into a master's in nursing and take the nurse practitioner route. So um, let's see, let's back it up a little bit. So I'm at the point where I finished nursing school. So I graduated nursing school at the age of 21, 22. No, it was 21. No, 22. Okay, I don't know. I graduated December 2015, which was not too long ago. Um, and then from there, I worked a little while as a nurse, like six months. And then from there, I applied to nurse practitioner school. Really didn't want to delay my returning back to school. Basically, um, finish my the rest of my education and stuff. And so I applied to the nurse practitioner program at the age of 23. That's when I got accepted, which this was last year. Yeah, so I was accepted last year, and then you guys know there's like a waiting period for the semester to begin, and then I started at the age of 23, which was January, and then I'm 24 now, I turned 24 in May. So um, yeah, that's kind of the path that I took. Um, I definitely want to tell you guys, like those that are in high school or younger or kind of want to follow my footsteps into getting these higher degrees like at a young age, you definitely have to work hard. Like it is not going to come easy to you. You can't just get by in school. Like you definitely need to put in the time, the effort, the energy to get those grades. It all boils down to getting good grades because when I did apply to the nurse practitioner program, I only had six months of nursing experience and I was competing with nurses that had five, six years of experience that, you know, experience is very, nursing is very experience based. So the more experience that you have, the more options that you have of getting jobs, going back to school, getting into these programs. Now, if you are a younger, you know, nurse such as myself, or you, you're just a younger person, you don't have experience, um, they're gonna look at other things, such as your grades. So your grades need to back it up, because you, you don't have the nursing experience, you don't have the life experience to, you know, you're applying to be a nurse practitioner. Like, you're gonna have, you're gonna be prescribing, you're gonna be diagnosing, you're gonna be, delegating to nurses like you need to prove yourself that you know you're capable of handling it and so basically what got me in was um my gpa my science background because like i told you guys i had taken a ton of pre-med courses as an undergrad and i aced all those courses so i had a's in basically all of my sciences i think the only science i got a b in was chem 2 or maybe it was chem 1 it was one of the chemistries, but everything else, anatomy, physiology, one and two, I made an A. Microbiology, I made an A. Biology, like basically all the sciences, um, psychology, sociology, what else? My math, like everything I had an A in. So I had a very strong, strong, strong science GPA. And a lot of grad schools and stuff are going to be looking at that GPA. So it's not only going to be like, you know, your nursing GPA or your nursing school success, they're gonna take it way back to when you were doing prereqs and they're gonna look at that GPA. Um, my GPA was high enough for me to waive the GRE. So I know a lot of, I get a lot of questions on people asking me about the GRE and you know my scores for the GRE. I did not have to take the GRE because my GPA was high enough. So I just didn't have to take the test at all. Um, another thing is your essay that you have to write for grad school. Um, make sure you really sell yourself during the essay um i'm gonna like make another video on on this but in your essay you basically have to like i said sell yourself because you're competing again with a bunch of other candidates people may have higher gpas than you more experience they may even have other degrees um when it comes down to like grad school and nurse practitioner programs a lot of people go back to school at a later time and if you're young you don't really have a lot you know you don't have a lot all you have is your undergrad and so you, know, you kind of need to make note of that in your essay make sure you write a strong essay also your references have a lot to do with it i think i had a reference from one of my previous actually i had a reference from one of the physicians that i worked with i had a reference from one of my teachers and then what was my other reference I'm not sure I think it was a supervisor from one of my um, previous jobs um, and so that too so you want to make sure you have a good relationship with your instructors and just people that are going to speak well about you because you know people that know your academic records your professional records and all this stuff because like I said it's very competitive you're not just gonna roll in and apply and expect to get in like you need to have the grades 
you need to you know you just need to have a strong application but yeah that was kind of like the background story on how i ended up in nurse practitioner school um at 24 basically at 23 yes i am super super happy with my decision i don't regret it at all some days i do have the days where i'm like oh i should have just went to medical school because i was so prepared i had everything done by the time i finished my nursing degree all that i had left to do in order to apply to medical school was to take the mcat and so once i graduated i kind of had to you know do the pros and cons i'm like all right am i going to grad school am i going to medical school like what am i going to do and so i did my research like i said i talked to a ton of doctors i just i did so much research you guys like that's really what you need to do when you're when you're younger and you're looking into what career you want to go into honey you have got to get on Google, you have got to read these forums, you need to read articles, you need to read what people are saying, you need to read um, the laws on the healthcare industry because it is going to impact you and you just need to stay stay informed, okay? Yeah, I'm like super, uh, like I said, I don't regret not going to medical school. Um, like I said, I'm very happy with the fact that I got into nurse practitioner school at a young age. Um, I'm going to be finished with my career by the age of 26, which is something that I wouldn't be able to do had I went to medical school because course we all know med, med school takes longer it's gonna take a lot of years of your youth <laughs> to get that md and stuff and so, yeah you guys i'll be finished in two years like i said so i'll be 26 by the time i get done a lot of people ask me if i'm gonna plan to go back and get a doctorate degree i'm not sure right now just because um the DMP degree is very research based and I'm not really a fan of research that much so if I do get a doctorate degree it won't be in nursing it's probably going to be in something else maybe education or something because I do plan on using my master's degree to teach. I have a lot of plans and goals and you know things that I'm going to do with my master's degree. I'm not only going to get my master's degree and be a nurse practitioner and just practice you know primary primary care and stuff um i plan on like i said i plan on teaching um i just have a lot of plans i'm not gonna put it all out there because you know sometimes i like to keep my goals to myself but um yeah you guys that was kind of my education career journey um it's been a long journey i didn't just you know people just think you just apply and just do whatever and you know i do get a lot of like backlash and hate and whatever from nurses and so yeah at the end of the day it all boils down to you getting on getting on your grind study hard get those grades and it all starts from the point that you're in high school especially now there are a ton of things you could be doing in high school you could be getting other credits outside of high school you could enroll in the college they they have some type of college um thing where you could be a high school student and you could be taking some college courses so that kind of could speed things up if you're thinking about you know you want to get done with your degree by a certain age um you kind of just got to do it okay you got to be a nerd you have to be a nerd you have to get those grades and that's how it's going to happen you guys so you have to just so yeah you guys that's kind of it for my current career journey i will keep you guys updated if you're not subscribed like what are you doing girl because i have vlogs and i do grad school stuff um also on my instagram and you know just follow me okay don't be fake <laughs> but that is it for this video and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye